Okay, now we'll look at some of these structures on a different model. So here's another eyeball model that also has a lacrimal apparatus here in green and palpebrae, so superior and inferior palpebrae, palpebrae, palpebral fissure, uh, lateral canthus, medial canthus, caruncle. You'd have puncta here, which you can't really see, and those little puncta are leading into these little green structures, which are called lacrimal canaliculi or lacrimal canals. And they're going to take the tears that are being produced over here in your lacrimal gland and drain them into the nasal cavity. So the lacrimal gland located here near your levator palpebrae superioris muscle make tears and the tears leave the lacrimal gland through these excretory ducts, wash across the eye this way, drain into the, lateral, the medial canthus through the puncta, down through the lacrimal canaliculi or lacrimal canals into the lacrimal sac and they will drain out through the lacrimal bone into the nasolacrimal canal and then into the nasal passage and we'll look at that as well in a minute. So this is la uh, levator palpebrae superioris attached to the palpebrae not to the eyeball. Maxilla, zygomatic bone. Now we'll look at the eyeball. You can see the sclera, the white portion. Here's your cornea, iris, pupil. You can see your muscles. This is medial rectus, superior rectus, lateral rectus, inferior rectus, and also see the tendon for the superior oblique muscle right there coming across the top of the eyeball and on this eye you can also see the inferior oblique cutting across the bottom of the eye so this part is inferior rectus this is inferior oblique inferior rectus inferior oblique superior oblique tendon superior rectus. This is your optic nerve exiting. Iris, pupil, choroid. Okay, so this is that middle tunic. Okay, inside of this eyeball, we have vitreous humor here in the posterior cavity. This is all posterior cavity. Here's your lens in the anterior cavity. Here's your anterior chamber, all filled with aqueous humor. Here's your ciliary body with your ciliary processes and muscles. Here's your aura serrata and your retina would be here. You can see your optic nerve. Here's your optic disc. And then right here there's a little pink dot and that's representing your fovea centralis of your macula luta. Okay, this is a great eye model, also has lots of bony structures. You can see the frontal sinus on the frontal bone here. You can see the zygomatic bone, the maxilla, inferior orbital foramen over here. On this inside, we can see again the frontal sinus. You can see the cristigalli of the ethmoid bone. You can also see the cribriform plate with olfactory foramina. You can see the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone, you can see the vomer, you can see the sphenoidal sinus, and you can see the optic chiasm. Here's your optic nerve. So don't forget to look at those types of structures. This one has got a nice levator palpebrae superioris muscle. So here's your superior palpebrae, inferior palpebral fissure. Here's your medial canthus and your caruncle. This one is showing you the puncta. That little black dot is the hole. 
leading into your lacrimal canals and canaliculi. Here's your lacrimal gland and excretory ducts underneath. Here's your excretory ducts, lacrimal gland, levator palpebrae superioris. Here's your puncta, that little black dot. Here's your lacrimal canaliculi, lacrimal canals, naso or lacrimal sac, excuse me. And then on this one, you can also see the nasolacrimal canal here and the nasal cavity. So this is actually your middle nasal concha here. And here's your nasal passages. So when you cry, you sniff because those tears are all draining into your nose because of that nasolacrimal canal. Sclera is all the white. You can see superior rectus muscle, tendon for the superior oblique. Here's the rest of the superior oblique. Here's your medial rectus, lateral rectus, optic nerve, inferior oblique, Turn this just the right way and you can see the trochlea right here. So here's your superior oblique coming through the trochlea making a UE. Inferior rectus, lateral rectus, medial rectus, superior oblique from the back, superior rectus, optic nerve. Cornea, of course. Now we can see our choroid, our vascular layer under here, that middle tunic. We take our eyeball apart. This one comes apart a little bit differently. So here's your posterior chamber, chamber with your uh, vitreous humor there. Okay, now I can see my lens, ciliary body, aura serrata would be the edge here, iris, pupil, and on this half you can see the retina, that's kind of that orangish layer, the brown is the choroid, and here's your optic disc, that little white part. If you look on here, you can see your optic nerve coming out. And right next to that, you have a little yellow dot and then a little pinkish circle around it. That's your fovea centralis right in the middle. And then your uh, macula luta is the whole area. So the whole pink dot would be macula luta and the yellow portion right in the middle would be your fovea centralis. And there's your optic disc here. You can always tell the optic disc because it has these vessels coming right out of the middle of it. Again, there's your optic nerve, your choroid with the blood vessels. Okay, here's one more eye that we're going to look at. I think we've pretty much seen most of them at this point. This shows you the layers and colors nicely. You've got your outer tunic or fibrous tunic in white, middle tunic, vascular tunic in pink and your inner tunic or neural tunic in yellowish and orange. So here's sclera, the white of the eye, cornea here. Right in between you have the limbus, so from sclera to cornea transition is limbus. This pink layer, the whole thing is called the choroid or middle tunic. Specifically this would be the choroid out here with the blood vessels, and then here specialized layer you'd have your ciliary body surrounding your lens and your iris colored part. This would be your aura serrata here and all of this orange would be retina, neural layer, optic nerve. Where your optic nerve exits you have a disc called the optic disc, that little yellowish half circle. Obviously you'd have a half a circle on the other side as well. And then remember, no rods or cones here, so it's a blind spot. And then right here you have a little depression. It looks like a defect, but it's actually on purpose. And that's your fovea centralis there. Colored part of the eye is your iris. 
And that hole right there in the middle is your pupil. You have some muscles on here too. Um, inferior oblique. It's hard to tell exactly what those are. But that one is inferior oblique here because it comes across the eyeball. This one here. So that would be inferior rectus.